Good afternoon. China enjoys supply chain dominance across almost all the rare earth metals. Uh, these are critical components for, for everything that powers the modern technology in today's economy. And the United States and other NATO countries are ironically dependent upon China to supply rare earth metals to produce weapon systems that we need. Here is a chart that shows the rare earth elements required for key NATO and U.S. weapons platforms. Uh, each F-35 Joint Strike Fighter requires 920 pounds of rare earths. That's 418 kilograms. The Arleigh Burke, that's a guided missile destroyer, requires 5,200 pounds, 2,360 kilograms. The Virginia-class submarine is a cruise missile, fast attack generation of subs, and each of those requires 9,200 pounds, or over 4,000 kilograms of rare earth metals. Last year, China announced sharp restrictions on exports of rare earth metals, including gallium. Gallium is a key component of semiconductors used in defense systems, mapping, radars, uh, display screens. And you see here that Chinese exports of gallium dropped basically to zero in August through September. And then they recovered a bit in December of last year, but they're still nowhere close to the export levels that were seen before the bans. Naturally, this has caused the prices to soar and gallium prices have more than doubled. This is according to Bloomberg. Our estimates are that China refines 94% of the world's gallium, which poses a problem in itself. In order to reduce our dependency on China for gallium, we need to find more, and we also need to build refineries for it. In 2021, 98% of all the rare earth metals used in the EU came from China, and for the US, it's 100%. So this dependency has finally caught the attention of people at the Pentagon and in Washington and they have offered large incentives for domestic producers, and there are reports of a large find in southwest Montana. That's the good news. They found a large deposit of rare earths in the continental United States. The bad news is that it takes a very long time to get the rare earths out of the ground and then to refine them. If we're going to onshore rare earth metals refining, it's gonna take at least 10 years. There was a huge rare earth deposit found recently in uh, Sweden and all the predictable headlines about what it means for China's monopoly on the rare earths. As usual, if we get past the headline, you see that we're nowhere close to bringing these uh, metals out of the ground, let alone to the market. Uh, the company that owns a Swedish field is LKAB, LKAB, let's call them. They say it'll be 10 to 15 years before the metals can be brought to market at all. And what's more, China could simply release some of their rare earths onto the market and depress the price and make the European companies uncompetitive. If you find it ironic that the most powerful militaries on the planet need Chinese gallium refineries to make our weapon systems work properly, then welcome aboard. And if you wonder if there might not be better uses for four metric tons of rare earth metals than to build another ballistic missile submarine to go with the 60 or so we've already got, then we can't blame you for that either. Thanks. Enjoy your evening. Be good.